Todo vamos a arrancarlo con altura. Hola. Hello. Hey. Hola, ¿qué tal? I smell hits, man. I do. Is there any way you, um, that you can come be back in two minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brushing your teeth? Yeah, I'm brushing my teeth. We're gonna start this, but in a, like, on the level, you know? Con altura. Pa' que quede lo que yo hago dura. Con altura. Demasiada noche de travesura. Con altura. Vivo rápido y no tengo cura. Con altura. Tire joven pa' la sepultura. Con altura. Spanish music is just having this beautiful moment that artists like me, I'm from Barcelona. It's a blessing that I can share my music with so many people around the world. What do you remember about the sessions for Con Altura and how that started? Yeah, I remember that I said that I wanted to, to do a song that has this classic reggaeton vibe, like Daddy Yankee. <laughs> feels like they are rapping, but it's not rapping because it has melody, you know? And I love that. When you're making a sound for her, she knows exactly what sound she wants. That to me is like, I don't know, that's Rick Rubin shit, you know what I mean? So I was thinking, okay, I would like to do a session with Pablo and with Fran Dukes. You know, her kind of having this really like unique approach to pop music was like super exciting for me. And Frank pulled like a lot of different like samples and loops. The ear he has for sound design, like he, his stuff always sounds special. My friend Teo had made the little voice loop, and it was way slower. And I'd sped it up. I just had this vision for Rose to do something like super hypnotic. This melody was sick. I was just like, okay, okay, let's do something with this. And I proposed Pablo to create percussions. It's just like the boom, ta boom, ta boom, ta boom, ta. It's just like a reggaeton beat that everyone in the world kind of like understands that it's reggaeton beat. Creo que cuando camina, cuando camina el 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 ritmo de reggaeton siempre va hacia atrás, siempre tira para atrás. When I was making the drums, I was looking for samples. I was just digging on the internet. I was just digging, 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 digging. We love to look in YouTube for stuff and just like have fun and laugh. And I found it, and I was like, okay, this is something amazing. Un aplauso para María Chibuda. Disculpa, no, disculpa que te interrumpa. I remember her playing something and then Pablo being like, oh, that. Con altura. Con altura. Like that. So Pablo just started fucking, fucking with it. You say that? Como que empezó como a, you know? Con altura. Con altura. Con altura. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Fresh teeth. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the phrase con altura. Where did it come from? What does it mean? Básicamente yo la he usado para mi programa de radio, para mi programa de televisión. Eh, vamos a arrancar esto con altura, vamos a hacerlo con altura. Es como parte de mi, de mi, de mi vocabulario diario. Con altura es with style, with, with, you know, with elegance. I was like, okay, this is like, eso es como un tesoro. Well, I'll just started kind of like freestyling, writing melodies and rhythms to it. But me just using my ears phonetically to be like, oh, that sounds good. Because obviously I don't know, I don't speak Spanish. Um, Pongo rosa sobre el panamera, pongo palma sobre la guantana mera, llevo camarón en la guantera. Some people I think they hear camarón and they think it's shrimp or something, but that's also, <laughs> that's a flamenco musician, right? <laughs> yes. When I was 13 years old, I discovered Camarón de la Isla. And it just changed completely my perspective of expression, art. Um, it just changed my life, you know? She contacted me and invited me to one of her shows. It was like a little, little show, but the way she pulled it up, I thought, she's a star. She may not know it, but she's a star. When I just finished the show, I just met him, and then he told me, you're a guest. <laughs> he told me that. <laughs> I think we are an amazing team, producing together, composing together, and, and making music in general together, you know? And is it your voice on the hook? Yeah, yeah. It's my voice on the hook. So you originally recorded it thinking somebody else would come in and fill in those parts? Yep. <laughs> we wanted to have uh, Tejo Calderon. For whatever reason, it didn't work out. But like, regardless of what happened, it's just like, 
it just sounded really fucking good with Pablo on it. I was excited about the song and I was proud of it. I just started thinking about who I would like to have in this song. Hola, Jose. Hey, como estas? The hair is fire right now. Thank you, my G. You know. <laughs> Balvin is a good friend of mine. So I just sent the song by WhatsApp and he just replied me like, what? Como que es esto? I love it. I wasn't expecting that when she when she sent me the song, you know? It's not that I wasn't expecting something good for her, but I wasn't expecting it was like a straight up pure reggaeton. I was like, wow, this is fire. Let's do it. He was like very excited with the song too. So in less than 24 hours, he just sent me his bars, como sus barras. Acá en la altura tan fuerte los vientos. Mm. Right away, next day. She sent me that, I did it right away. <laughs> and you know, he just did it. And it was amazing. It was like muy crudo, I loved it. Was any part of you nervous about making a reggaeton song? You're from Spain, <laughs> it's not necessarily what people would imagine you would do next. I mean... And I guess that I always do something that no, nobody expects, honestly, because for me, that's what makes sense. And that's the point of being a musician. Were you guys really on a plane or was it a set? It's a set, it's a set. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to fly a plane. Just making sure. <laughs>